Now, one of the first kinds of magic I learned was card magic. Not many people know this. Card magic is actually one of the hardest types of magic to learn. That's because most card tricks are made for someone with an adult hand, right? Like, let me show you. Like, if I take a card here, if I take a card into my hand, I'm able to hide it in my hand, right? That's a technique called palming. If you're an uncle here, maybe you've done the coin behind the ear trick that utilizes this principle, right? What's up behind your ear? But when you're a 10 year old trying to learn these tricks, you can't really do techniques like that because your hands are smaller. So a playing card doesn't hide in your hand as well. It looks like that. Now, of course, the solution every magician when you're learning tells you is, oh, be really distracting over here and no one will see that. But still noticeable. So I had to come up with a way to do these kind of tricks with smaller hands. And my solution, make the cards invisible. How would I do that? With magic. I'll show you. I'm going to show you all the invisible palm. I'll do it with these four cards. Okay? Now, three here and one on the table. My goal is to get one of these cards from my hand down to that table without you noticing. You'll notice I rolled up my sleeves. Right? That's because a lot of you are suspicious that a card can shoot up my sleeve. In practice, I used to do that. One of these cards would shoot up my sleeve, it'd fly down to this hand, and I would hold it invisibly like that. You see the card here in my hand? I could take that card right there and set it on the table like this. Like that, leaving two cards left in my hand and two on the table when you weren't looking. But maybe you weren't paying attention that time. Maybe you missed it. I'll go a little bit slower here. I'll show you, I'll show you this one. Check this out. Watch the card. You ready? It's gone. It's not here, and it's not here. That's because this time, the card is hidden behind my hand. I spent so much of my life trying to perfect this that I even got to the point where I could shift it around like that. Fast time, like this up here, nearly invisible. Now, of course, anyone can do those kind of moves, moving around really fast and jerky. It's hard to do it really slow, like that. See? You can't even tell it's there. Especially if I go like that. Pretty, pretty convincing. I can even, I've even got good enough to do this. It's still there, though. I'll show it to you, because I can still take that card and set it down right there with the other ones, leaving three there on the table, and I'll be here my hand. Thank you. Thank you. Right. That leaves us now with this one. This one's the hardest one, because everyone knows what I'm doing at this point, right? So i got to be extra sneaky. Watch the five of clubs. I'll put it aside from the other ones. My goal is to use the deck and get it to stick to my hand like this. It's easy because I have some sweat on there, but I can do this. Oh. Goal, let me get it. The goal is to get it to stick like that. See? Bam. And now, it's right there. Whenever I want to make it appear invisible, I just squeeze my hand. And it goes away like that. Now at that point, people are like, okay, you lied, it's not really there. I could show it to you when I need it. But of course, when we want to make it invisible, we just squeeze our hands. Because that card by the club still is there. So when I need it, I can set it down right there on the table with those cards, leaving one, two, three, four cards. That's easy. 